Hey, what's up? It's Mark at Alchemist.camp, and today I'm just going to show you a quick trick that I use with Vim and Regex when I'm copying a bunch of lines into a text editor that I need to filter. So I did a, a holiday giveaway on Twitter yesterday. I had uh, two tweets that I needed to copy uh, everybody's names from that they commented since I gave something to the commenters. So that was one tweet, and this is the other tweet. So I'm just highlighting everything and pasting it in. And what I care about is just the handles. So I just want to get the handle of everyone who replied, except for me, because I'm obviously not giving myself anything for the hallway give holiday giveaway. And the way I filter it down is uh, from normal mode, hit colon, so you can enter a command. And then G will execute it globally. And there'll be some regex and slash D. Now, if I do this, it will delete every line that has an at sign. I don't want that though. I actually want the opposite of that. And fortunately, Vim has a, a convenient way to do that, which is, well, you could do G, G bang, or you could just use V. So basically delete every line that does not match the regex, which means every line that doesn't have a, an at sign on it, like so. And then to delete the ones that are myself, I'll just do G and match Alchemist and delete those. And you can see we've got 14 people here and we can sort them. We could also sort unique. So let's say I hadn't deleted Alchemist. I've just got all of these identical uh, usernames here and we don't wanna give someone more chances to win just because they, they commented more times. That would be a bad incentive. We can do a sort U, which will sort everything and make it unique. So really convenient. I use this a lot when uh, there, I'm copying a table of HTML into something, or if I'm copying from a CSV and there are a lot of lines and I just care about, there's some structure to them and I just care about uh, one of the columns, but not the others. This is the fastest way I know to do it. Um, you won't be able to do this from within VS Code's Vim plugin, uh, but you know Mac Vim or or any pure Vim editor is super lightweight, much lighter weight than VS Code. No problem with pasting a huge file in, doing this, and then just taking what you want out of it. So hope that's useful and have a nice rest of the year.